Hi viewer, I welcome you to Edin TV. It is the station where you watch and learn. I'll be taking you through Geography Form 3, lesson number 15. Uh, the topic it is Action of Rivers. I'm your tutor, Hussein Mudun. Welcome. We start by looking at the lesson goals. We define the terms that are used in um, the topic that is what you are going to do. Um, action of rivers and their terms that are used in the topic. We start by defining what is a river. A river, it is a large natural stream of water flowing in a valley from an upland area towards the lowland. So that is the river. And it must flow from the upland towards the lowland. That is the way rivers will flow. Natural stream of water flowing in a valley. Now, what is the source? There is also another term that we want to define. A source is the origin of the river, where it is originating from, where this natural stream is coming from. It can be a forested area, a mountain, or a spring. So we, are, we can have the resources that is in forested areas. We can also have it coming from the mountain when the ice melts. It can also come from a spring. Then the third term, it is the mouth. Mouth is the terminal, the end point of the a river. The point where a river drains its water. It can be a lake, a sea, or an ocean. So the river will drain their waters either in lake, sea, or an ocean. And number five, four, it is the catchment area. What is the catchment area? Uh, it refers to the source of most rivers. Source of most rivers. Where are most rivers coming from? For example, if at all we are talking about a source of river, our water catchment area, it means that not only one river comes from that place. There are a number of them. It can be in forested areas, but it can also be in mountainous areas. So that is what we refer to it as the catchment areas in the topic. At number five, we look at what is tributaries. Tributaries, these are small streams, small rivers that flow into larger or bigger rivers. Feeding the main rivers, those that feed the main river with water. That is what we refer to them as tributaries. For example, when you talk about the tributaries of River Tana, we have Diba, we also have Murubara, we also have Nyamindi. All these are tributaries of uh, the Tana River. And many other rivers that we know they are the tributaries. Um, let us have a look at some of these things that we have talked about. We have talked about the river system. We have not defined what is a river system. We are going to see it in our next. Uh, now, when we talk about a river system, you can be able to see what is a river system. It covers from the tributaries, from the salts to the mouth. All those ones are covered in a river system. So from the source, uh, as it comes, we have the tributaries like the way you can be able to see them. They are joining the main river. Uh, then it is going, you are getting the distributaries uh, to the mouth there. You can be able to see it. You can be able to see even the river mouth uh, where it is. So you can get them uh, there. Then 
We are the river system. That is what I want to define, whatever you have seen there. This is the combination of a river together with its tributaries. The what? Then the next one, it is the watershed or the divide. These are the boundary of drainage basin marked by the ridge of Aya land. It separates one drainage system from the adjacent one. We are going to get each example. Then we have the drainage basin, an area of the land drained or served by a river and its tributaries. That is what we refer to it as the drainage basin. Then we have the river discharge. This is the amount of water passing down a stream and it is usually expressed in meter cubed per second. Then we have the river regime. This, this is then the seasonal fluctuation or variation in the volume of river water or ditches. Then we have the interfravis. Uh, these are our areas in between the tributaries. Let us see the watershed. As you can be able to see the watershed, which is there, you can also be able to see the area that is being served by the river that is flowing there. You can be able to see it. We have the homes, we have the factories, all those ones now we have discussed about them. You can also be able uh, to see at the end point of that river or the area which is being which is that river occupied the eye point you can be able to see it the the one that is marking the end of that that watershed you can be able to see them here the eye point um we also have another river system, an example. You can be able to see we are starting from the source all the way tribute that is the conference. Uh, we also have the estuaries, the oxborex. You can be able to see them from the uh, image. River profile, that is the river profile. You can be able to see we start from the source, then tribute that is the water shed or divide you can be able to see it is very clearly demarcated in that uh, diagram having done that today i want to read the assignment the activity define the following terms we have the watershed we also have the river regime and the river profile for more information you can visit the krb 2003 Secondary Geography, Student Book 3, that edition. Or you can contact us uh, through the SMSing us. You can SMS to that number. You can also uh, get us from the YouTube. You can also get us from the Facebook. You can also get Twitter us through the, that. Otherwise, stay tuned to the interview. Thank you.